How's that, baby? You know what she's got there? Sardines juice. So I got chicken and mackerel, sardines, and some kind of beef or something, gravy stuff. I figured she loved this. I tried the sardines first. See how she's gobbling it up? Now she's been running that thing there by that for about, that's a spooky two. Oops, plasma. That's been there for probably, okay, so it's midnight. I'm going to start running around 3.30. Oh, good eight hours. That thing, actually, advanced cancer settings, you're supposed to, you can run it maybe an hour. It's, it's, I got it set to do 11 cycles, so 11, run 11 hours. And you can set it for as long as you want. This is an industrial commercial heavy, and uh, now I'm feeling okay. As long as she eats stuff. I'm not going to put her to sleep, as long, cause she. Let me put it to this way: when this cat, she came by me, she was always eating the gravy. And I was saying, "What a fussy eater!" She's had this problem with whatever with her tongue. That's been on there ever since she came by, and the vets never saw it. The other vets, the other vets, never saw it. These this vet saw it, but this vet thinks I'm an idiot for running. She they don't know they don't know about this frequency stuff. You would you know, and I hope. Uh, YouTube Google doesn't get pissed off because this is tech stuff. This is tech stuff. It's been around since the 19th. She's really gobbling this stuff up. I, feel, I was hoping she, because she was pretty much out of it. Oh, baby. And well, you know what I'm doing tomorrow? Um, I'm going to go to Walgreens. I, I, saw, I saw, I asked somebody at the gym. I asked a young person at the gym, probably like 20 years old or something like that. Because, you know, if you ask these older people, they don't know nothing. Um. Well, they know stuff, but not this type of stuff. I was going to ask, where could you get CBD oil around here? And he says he thinks there's a gas station that even sells it around. The one that's across from, uh, well, it's in a, uh, I don't know, it's like in a bunch of stores, gas station, you know, a bunch of stores over there. Like, it's not just by itself. And um, But I'm going to go to Walgreens. There's one close by. And then I looked it up on the internet. They were supposed to have been back. They said it was an announcement across even all the major media news outlets that 1,500 Walgreens stores are going to be selling store, uh, CBD oil in a lot of states, not every state, but right? probably more than likely Florida because they, they legalized uh, uh, medicinal marijuana. And she has had CBD oil before. She loves this stuff. Now, you look how she's gobbling this stuff down. I just got back from the gym, so she hasn't ate nothing since this morning. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. Go, baby, go. And even though that's just like, um, it's a juice, basically. It's it's not just plain water. And that's almost telling me her tongue's feeling a little bit better. Now, I'm getting the CBD oil, not so much because it's anti-cancerous. I'm thinking it's if that Spooky 2 device works against cancer. What I was worried about is getting inflammation down in her tongue and the pain knocked down. And if I could get that down, I'd have enough time to try to treat the cancer. Look at her fur, okay? You got the one spot in the back here. See that that spot there that looks really that is that's me putting the um, Live On Labs liposomal vitamin C gel. Um and of course, she had the uh, uh, the red reishi mushroom I made down into a tea. I put it on uh, some of the liquid back there. That's why that's discolored back there. That's not blood. That is from the Live On Labs. I want. I was hoping that that would get absorbed into the skin because it is liposomal. And baby, 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 you freaking man! I'm at the gym. I'm working out. I'm thinking she's gonna have. To, she doesn't freaking perk up when I come home. Here you go, baby. You know what? Well, if you, YouTube knocks me off. You know what? You know what I'm going to tell you. Even with this demonetization stuff and all that, that's not. You know they, what's going on with that is there's actually um, a group of people. I you know not even working for YouTube or Google per se. They're the community, and you know they're hired by. You know what I mean? That's how that works. They don't like my Confederate stuff. You know anything with a gun and all that kind of crap. Don't matter if you're pro-Israel, pro-Jewish, they just don't like it. So, 
Boy, she's really eating this stuff. You're a good girl, baby. You're a good girl. Oh, yeah, you are a good girl. I got a, I got a few more cans. I got I think I got four cans of this stuff. And I got a whole bunch of cans. I went to... <laughs> yeah. If she just... If I just got a slew of these cans and just ate that juice, she, she'd, she'd live. I mean, she could survive on that alone because there's a lot of nutrients in it. And I think as long as I got enough time, she's strong. She gets strong. And I got enough time to work on her with the CBD oil and the spooky. Now, I wish I could hook up the power zapper to her, but, you know, how do you... I mean, there's theoretically ways of doing that, but... I'm going to actually get into something else with that power zapper later. Um, I'm not going to put it out right now. It's going to be a few months down the road. I'm going to put it out probably exclusively on BitChute. That power zapper... If you got, especially if you have like um, sepsis, like blood infection, like a lot of times, you know, your body's overwhelmed. And, um, well, I mean, when you're really sick, right, your body's overwhelmed. Mainly your sickness is in your gut. And, or it could be in a specific area of the body. It could be like, you know, gangrene or whatever. Well, if you're running that parazap, or maybe it can't get all the way down into the deep races of your body, but it does get into the bloodstream. And... The, the frequency it does treat the blood the bloodstream and can greatly assist in knocking out microbes where your immune system could be an overwhelmed um that's why that thing and a lot of this stuff i want to keep on hand because um um in case there's no doctors around you know if you like um uh, get uh just not that long ago um partly because i'm cheap but also, I was a little bit mad at the last dentist I went to. I had a, uh, one of my caps came off on my molar, and uh, I just bought the special right adhesive for it, and I put it back on. I'm going to make a video about that specifically, not demonstrating, but there was some specific advice you have to give to uh, when you're doing that. But basically, it was easier than changing a set of spark plugs on a car. I mean, it's not, here you go, baby. Come on. Come on, Snooky. There you go. Oh, God. I'm not religious. You know, if you say the Lord answered my prayers, I mean, I don't know, something answered my prayers, but I don't depend upon the Lord to make something happen. You understand? In that way, if you want to put it religious, I try to make it happen. I try to make it happen. And I cuss, and I cuss, and I cuss, and I get pissed off, but I'm still striving. This girl is so, you know, you know, it's, burnt, you know, it's making me really feel like, me wanting to really bring her back because I thought, you know, I knew she didn't feel well, and I said, maybe that's why she's crabby, but I didn't realize how bad it was, and also thinking she was such a picky eater, she was always only eating a gravy on a cat food, and I was saying, how come you're eating a gravy, and you're leaving all this freaking food, and you're freaking not eating it, she had that lesion on her tongue since day one, when she came over here in early October 2017, almost two years ago, she had, on the back near her tail, and I, like I said, the stuff I was doing for her improved her fur so much better. They did give her that uh, Convenia, I believe it is. I forgot the name, how that work, that name is. That's a very strong, powerful antibiotic for uh, skin infection on dogs and cats. It works for 14 days, um, like constantly, until it goes away. That didn't do nothing for her skin. What I did, what I was doing with uh, the nutrition, the Carbon C60, um, what else was I doing? The colloidal silver water. She was getting that stuff. This is what's been keeping her alive. She should have been dead of cancer a long time ago. But now that I know it's cancer, I was going to run that damn thing before. And I said, that couldn't be cancer. I thought she's like only three. But maybe she's not three years old. Maybe she's older. I don't know how old she is. But sweetheart, I'm going to make you a 50-year-old cat if I can. In good health. And you're going to be my sweetheart baby baby for, for now on. You are. Here, Snooky. Come on, man. More meow meow. Yeah. You love this stuff. I, fi I figured this. I figured it. To I know these cats love sardines like crazy. You love this. I had to find one that doesn't have tomato sauce in it, though. I think tomatoes is something cats can't have for sure. Boy, Nell wouldn't eat that anyway. I had to find just plain sardines. I know I've been going on with this a long time, but... um. I was feeling really freaking, when I saw her perk up and get up, stretch her legs when I came home from the gym, and 
she she just says like she was hungry. She's doing this. I'm like, right now my heart is like, God. She might make it. She might make it. Like I said, tomorrow morning I'm gonna go. I'm on a hunt. I'm gonna find out when Walgreens opens up first thing. It's not far away. They're all over the place. It's like a couple miles away or something. Um, I'll get it. I'll get this stuff. And I know she loves the CBD oil. Holy smokes. I used to get, I had a couple bottles. I had one bottle was, I know one was called Serenity. And one was something else. I forgot what it was. And she loves that stuff. And she did have it. I did give it to her a bunch of times. You saw the, some of the videos I did on that. She did have this stuff. That spooky thing is pretty powerful against cancer. Um, you know, running it like eight hours like that, where she's right next to it. But the thing is, um, I'm going to have to run this like eight hours every freaking day for a while, just to make sure it's gone, gone. And then I'm going to take her, if she's, she's still like real perky and stuff, I'll take her back to the vet. And, uh, yeah, I'll take her back to the vet for a checkup and take a look at her tongue. They took a picture of it, so, you know, they take another picture of it. The vet wasn't even much money. It was like 58 bucks, man. I was like, I could tell them that because next time I'm charge me more money. I was like, shit, that ain't nothing. <laughs> it's like 58 bucks for an exam. That's, I thought this stupid thing was going to be a couple hundred bucks. Easy. But, you know... I guess vets don't make much money, I guess, because we're freaking doctors. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't want to say that to them, because if you say that, you know, I made a mistake one time when it air conditioning a guy. You know, because I play, like, real cheap. I play, like, uh, one of the smartest things you could do is uh, not display money. <laughs> you know? And I'll tell you the truth. Uh, some people say, you know, why the hell are you driving that Suzuki, 85 Suzuki? Don't those roll over? And actually, mine is even skinnier than a Samurai. You know, the Suzuki, I drive that thing, and I drive the old, the old Camino and the motors. You know, I, I say, you know what, first off, it, it's probably going to outlast a brand new Lexus, even though it's freaking 35 years old. And second off, it's safer than a Tesla vehicle. It doesn't blow up. It doesn't drive, it doesn't take, you know, take off on, a, on an autopilot, head on to another car. Hey, I'm controlling it, okay? It's not going to blow up. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it's like, that's the only way you keep your money, man. I've learned, I learned from the best, man. I, I learned from the, I learned from these my Jewish buddies, man. These guys are smart. I love them. And you know what? If this works, I'm going to tell my Jewish buddies about this shit. And you know what? They're going to live a long time. Don't tell me, uh-huh. Uh huh. Oh man, I think I think it is. I, I swear to God, I bet you the spooky made a difference because she never ate this. She never drank, had this much. She couldn't do this this morning. This thing might be working. I don't know if I'm freaking. You know, we'll find out. We'll find out. But she she couldn't do this any time in the last couple of days. Not like this. It seems like her tongue is feeling better. Maybe the damn thing is working. Holy smokes. I tell you what, you know, this doctor, you know, found it like um, microscopic blood in my urine. She said, oh, it might be freaking bladder cancer. So, actually, then later on, it started bleeding, bleeding. It was blood, blood. I ran that thing. And I ran it for, um, I don't know, I ran it a couple of, couple of days for eight hours. And then I thought it wasn't working. I said, this stupid thing ain't working. And then all of a sudden, the bleeding stopped. It was like less and less. You know, you could see the, the urine wasn't red. And there was like these chunks coming out, you know, trying to pee and stuff. <laughs> and, you know, I, I, you know, I ain't a pussy. I ain't afraid of blood. You know, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't want to die. But the thing is, um, eventually it started clearing up. And I think about, you know, by like three or four days later, you could see it was just like orange. And it would maybe a week later it was clear. I says, then one time it came back, it, and I started, I used that thing again, but I've been taking the colostrum a lot, I, I have a feeling that's, because I notice any time that 
the blood came back in the urine on me was when I had something sugary. Or if I had so much bread or something with the sandwiches. Now, I could drink a bottle of Coke. And if I, I'm, I'm doing a colostrum, it doesn't come back. The colostrum's got something in there, too. It raises that... It's got some kind of anti antiviral back... back um, you know, it's got antivirals in it. This is what saved... I've been saving her butt from day one. But if, like I said, if I knew she had cancer and that lesion on the tongue, I would have went balls to the wall with this stuff and the CBD oil. The Parazapper can help in ways in, like with other things. You know, if you got something deep in the body with cancer, I don't know. The thing is, you got to get that frequency. See, the thing with the plasma, here's the drawback with the plasma. The plasma, you got to know the frequency. Now, fortunately, Rife knows that Rife has the actual frequency. Here you go, baby. She's, she's really going to town with this stuff. I'm going to see if she's going to eat some sardines, too. Well, you know what? I got a bunch of those cans. I'll feed her like eight ounces of this stuff. Well, she pees and shits and she got her energy. Because, you know what? She can live off of, like, this is not just juice. That's, like, got fish parts in there and stuff. You know, it's got protein and oils. That's not just plain water, man. That's not even... That's uh, That's got the fish. Right? You're doing pretty good. You know what? I don't see any... I don't see, like, the drooling like the way it was. And she's going... Oh, she's, she's eating way more than she has in the last few days. You know what else, too? There's a smell... That I could smell off of her. I swear it's a cancer. That seems to be dissipated. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. You know what? I did not expect this. I did not expect this. We'll find out. We'll find out. The truth is going to come out here eventually, man. You keep going. You keep... I was... Last yesterday, every three, four hours. Midnight. Four o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. You know, Whatever. I'm trying to feed her, make sure she's eating or like uh, drinking something. The chicken uh, broth or from the uh, canned chicken. Holy smokes. This is a, this looks pretty good. I mean, you know, the vet might say she's not eating solid food, but this is going to this is going to keep her good. This is not this is not uh, water. This is uh there's like bits of sardine in there and stuff. Just get some freaking protein and fats and carbs and whatever else. Yeah. You really do. Do you really love that, huh? Yeah, come on, baby. Come on, Snooks. Yeah. All right. I made this long enough. And um, I'm keeping after her. I don't know how long she's going to eat. So this video is already freaking 18 minutes. Um, she's, uh, she's going to town, though. That's a damn good sign, ain't it? This is, I, I didn't expect this. I was hoping for it, but then I'm thinking, you know, you know, on the internet, oh yeah, just do this, yeah, yeah, you got the magic for me. But I was pretty sure this stupid thing works because the frequencies that plasma uses were, are the same from Rife. The problem with the plasma is that you got to know the frequency. With a power zapper, you don't need to know the frequency because it's a positive offset. I know the one, the ones you want to really use, the one with the positive offset with the pedestal offset, that one is actually much stronger. But you can't hook her up to that. How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? Yeah, right? All right, I'm stopping the video here. 19 minutes. 